first find of the day in this spot. I'm hoping it'll be a virgin spot because I love heart. He's real heavy. That'd be, I don't know, that's heavy. But yeah, we haven't tried here before. Ranges off over there. Swing it away. We'll see what we find. Yeah, first coin for today, 1961 thruppence. Okay. Not too deep. Oh, I'm hoping for 20 coins in here. You know, 400 people living in a place for 80, 90 years, you've got to hope. Second coin, 1952 penny this time. It's not bad. Yeah, just in under a bit of spin effects, not too bad. Makes a nice little setting this one. That's a little kangaroo grass and spin effects in here and not much else. Probably snakes in summer, but apart from that, it's pretty good. 1952 for that time. Still nice and shallow. Beautiful autumn's day out here, 24 degrees. Water. Angel getting frustrated because she hasn't dug anything but trash, but I'm going good. That's the area I'm working, so fourth coin in here now in 20 minutes. 1943 penny. So, started in 1911, was gone by 1970, so I think it had an army militia in here in the 40s as well. But it stretches for 10 acres and then the nature comes back in. I'll keep working around it, see what we can find in this spot. Yeah, first half penny for the day, 1951 half penny. Quite good. So that's five coins out of here now. Most of them just in this area. I've been here an hour and a half. I keep walking off into the, the distance from it to see if there's another house zone, but it must all be in here. I'm not going to rub this one too much because it's uh, English half penny. But that's 1911 on that thing. So I can't get that in the focus for you. Yeah, well, I might have to clean it up and get that clear on. There you go. 1911, English half penny. Those things you see floating around over there are detector holes. I have to say they were done by my 10 year old, so I'll go and fill them back in for her. She missed this one, but she dug some nice holes around them. 1911, half penny there. It's a mound. This looks like someone's piled something up, but on each side of it, that's a 1913 half penny now. If we get that focus, there you go. Yeah, you can have to clean it at home, but it's definitely got 1913 on the bottom there. There's your wet thumb on it. And as you can see, this area could have more because there's a few more of these mounds around here, so we'll see. So if we get that now. Anyway. Clean that up at home. Two of those. Keep working around this pile, you never know what's under it. Yeah, it's about back of the car. There's always a way to find one when you get close to the car. That's a 1914 one half penny. You can see I took a little nick out of that one. I'll just work around this spot. That wasn't down too deep there, so I'll just work around this spot and see what else might be here. The other coins are over near that tree, so. That's just a fire break, so someone cleared that. Yeah, back at the old railway manager's house, I stopped at the other day. It was sun going down then, so I thought I'll stop here on the way home again today. First coin up this fence line, 1943. That coin's really dirty. Really hard to see that one. I had to wash it a bit, but yeah, 1943 that coin is. Uh, I'll work up this fence sign and then I'll walk through the house site. Yeah, 1952 penny that time. Sun's very glary, so I'm not sure if these are focusing properly, but just working up the fence line. I worked up the other fence line the other day, found a few coins. I don't know why it is, but they're all on the fence line. 
That one's a half penny, 1951 that time. Still in that same basic area as those other two coins. Just a lot of trashy area to work through. And I don't mean trashy. Glass and tin and rust and everything.